Could New York Giants coach Brian Dable lose the team's locker room as the Giants' season spirals farther and farther downhill? Ed Valentine of Big Blue View here with your Valentine's Views podcast for Tuesday. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're watching the show to uh, to show us your support. All right, the uh, the Giants are two and seven. Things have spiraled way, way, way out of control, gone worse than than anyone could have imagined that they would go this season. Coming off last year's nine seven and one playoff berth, playoff victory over the Minnesota Vikings. I think we saw the possibility of regression in 2023, but but not to this extent, not to the point where things completely fell apart, where the wheels have come off, so many injuries, now the loss of quarterback Daniel Jones for the season, the loss of the backup quarterback Tyrod Taylor. So many things have gone wrong some decisions that have backfired, some weird things that have gone on in games that that are hard to understand, some even training camp and and off-season roster decisions that were hard to understand. But uh, really what I want to talk about today is where the Giants are right now and, and getting through the rest of the season. Xavier McKinney made some comments to Jordan Renan of ESPN after Sunday's loss to the Raiders. He told Renan that he felt like leaders, captains in the Giants locker room were not really being heard. And, and that really surprised me. It really shocked me because Brian Dable is a really, really good communicator with players. He really went out of his way to emphasize that as a first-year head coach in 2022. He did not call offensive plays. He turned that over to to Mike Kafka, the offensive coordinator. Dable spent his time building relationships, getting to know his players, building equity with his players, had an outstanding season in 2022, first year as as head coach, first year of of the regime with he and GM Joe Shane, players often lauded the Dable's ability and the rest of the coaching staff's ability to listen to implement what they were talking about, what they were saying, what they saw, even throughout the spring and the summer. Players talked about that. Darren Waller talked a lot about being listened to, about having his input sought, about Dable and Kafka and and the coaching staff caring about what they thought about specific plays, what they thought about how a play should run, what they thought about different looks, different scenarios. It's very, very surprising to me to hear McKinney say, that uh, that he feels like the leaders on the team are not being heard. I wonder if that's on the defensive side of the ball. I wonder if that permeates the locker room in, in any other areas. Andrew Thomas, left tackle, is the only one of only two players we got to speak to via Zoom on Monday. Thomas said that he didn't see that. He had good communication with the coaching staff. He wasn't sure where McKinney was coming from with those remarks. Brian Dable was asked about those remarks and said he was very comfortable with the leadership on this team and with the communication that he has with those leaders. So I'm not quite sure what to make of McKinney's remarks. I I am not quite sure what McKinney's standing is on this roster, to be honest with you, coming off of last year's incident in Cabo where he where he missed you know half the season because of the the hand injury he suffered during the bye week something that uh you know a situation McKinney put himself in that he really didn't have to put himself in that ended up badly I'm not sure if McKinney damaged his standing in the organization and maybe his comments come because he's feeling some of that maybe he's feeling some angst or some bitterness over the fact that guys like Thomas got paid, guys like Daniel Jones got paid, other guys got paid, and he does not have a contract 
from the Giants for next year could be headed to free agency. I don't know if all of that plays into what McKinney said, but you guys know at this point that I've been clear that I think Brian Dable should be back next season. Joe Shane should be back next season. Some, you know, strange decisions aside, decisions that haven't worked out aside, the Giants have to get off this two year merry go round with head coaches. I think that Brian Dable and Joe Shane, as connected as they are, as bright as they are, they showed the upside of what they could do last season. They showed that there could be a bright future with them. I think they need to be allowed to work through this particular season and, and see if they can get the Giants back in the right direction. But the one thing that could change all of that is if there's a mutiny in the locker room. Listen, that is what happened with Ben McAdoo in 2017. He completely lost the locker room, lost his job before his second season was over. Joe Judge lost the locker room in 2021 when he clearly lost faith in his players with the back-to-back -back quarterback sneaks you know, from his own goal line in victory formation against the Washington football team. Obviously, if he's going to publicly show that he has no faith in his players, the players are going to lose belief in anything he says as well. And, and Judge basically fired himself at that point. So, But for me, I don't think that's going to happen with Brian Dable. I think it's the only thing really that – that could that could bring him down, but I just don't see it. I'm not quite sure if, if McKinney's sort of a lone wolf with his comments. I don't know, but I don't really see that issue with this locker room. Although you know something might be amiss, but I'm not sure that there's a whole lot of of others in the locker room who feel the same way that McKinney does. It's obviously something to watch because for me, it is the one thing that could bring down Brian Dable's time as head coach more so than the one loss record is guys turning on him, guys quitting, guys turning publicly on each other. And, and if that happens, then the alarm bells go off and then you have a different kind of situation. But, uh, I don't think we're at that point yet, but McKinney's comments do make it something worth watching, worth listening for. All right, Giants fans, uh, just a quick show for today. Just wanted to hit that topic. So uh, thank you, as always, for listening and watching. Please stay safe out there. Take care of each other, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.